I'm like really drawn to the moon for tonight. I have a little Levi's jeans haul. <laughs> <laughs> I might be taking dance classes again, like hip hop classes. The 2010s when we were wearing purple lipstick. The bottomless mimosas is definitely a good deal. This is why all of my socks have holes in them. For real? Sir, I... <sighs> Hello there, you guys. So first off, we're just gonna go ahead and give the disclaimer. For anyone new, this is a new sweatshirt, which means that I will literally be living in it for the next couple vlogs. You're gonna see it constantly. No, I haven't changed out of it. I am literally gonna wear this thing to death until I get tired of it. But anyways, happy Friday. I've just been like working all day and then I just filmed a video. Then I did like a quick 15 minute clean in here just to like tidy stuff up. We had like a bunch of bags of trash and stuff around here. So I took all of that out and then just like took some stuff upstairs that have been needing to go back upstairs for a little while now. But I got in this Ulta order a few days ago and I wanted to share it with you guys so basically right now i am in my bath era ever since i rediscovered baths what is that a few vlogs ago i have been absolutely loving them i've been looking forward to taking a bath all day today i still need to take leo on his afternoon walk but afterwards i'm gonna take a nice hot bath and i put in an order recently at ulta for just like a couple of bath things so i thought i would share it with you guys first off i got two of their bath bombs this one is whim and it's in the shape of a little moon and then you can see the layers in there. I'm very interested to see how this one will go. I can't remember if this one is a foaming bath bomb or not, but it smells amazing. So I don't know, maybe I'll do this one. I feel like this one is like designed to like relax you and kind of put you to sleep. So this one will probably be good to use tonight. And then I also got, oh, they're both called Wim and they both just say bath bomb on the back. They really should put like the name of these on here. But anyways, I got this rainbow one as well. I just thought that it was a lot of fun. A little rainbow to make you happy, but mm, this one smells good too. Shoot, which one am I gonna use? I think the moon. I'm like really drawn to the moon for tonight. So we'll use that one and see what it does in the bathtub. And then I actually used up all of our bubble bath the last couple times I took a bath. So I went to reorder some and I didn't realize that I ordered such giant ones. Like these are so heavy. Oh, here's the little order form. I can tell you. Okay, so it's just rainbow and moon bath bombs. That That's it. That's all the information they give me. That was not helpful. <laughs> but anyway, so I got two foaming baths and these actually already have Epsom salt built into them i still have some leftover salt so i might add a little bit more in but i got this pomegranate and black currant one it's got essential oils both of these are from dr teal's for some reason dr teal's was the only brand i could actually find true bubble bath from on ulta but this one has antioxidant rich pomegranate and black currant oils to help promote healthy aging of skin so this one's a little anti-aging bath which we love and it claims to have long lasting bubbles so Hopefully that's true because the last time I took a bath and I did use Dr. Teal's, the bubbles kind of disappeared a little bit quickly. So hopefully this is going to be better, but oh my God, that smells so good. And then the other one that I got is the lavender one. And we all know that I love lavender, especially at night. I feel like this one's going to go with the moon better, but this is the soothe and sleep lavender bubble bath. So this one helps to calm the mind to promote a better night's sleep. And it also claims to nourish your skin as well. So I'll probably do this combo tonight and we'll see how that goes. But for right now, Leo is being so patient. He wants to go on his walk so bad right now. So let's go ahead and take him. Okay, buddy, you ready to go on a walk? He doesn't believe me. Look at him. Oh, yeah, you saw the harness come out, huh? And paw. What's so interesting? Good boy. What a good boy. You gotta wear your harness so that you can get seat belted in for safety. And then also, you know, when you get seat belted in, you're allowed to hang your head all the way out the window because you can't go anywhere anyways. Oh, you need the, oh my goodness, what a stretch. It's still light outside, but I feel like it'll get dark quick. So we'll do the light up collar. 
regular collar. Oh my goodness, where are you going? Sir, you are not done getting outfitted. Come here. You wear so much gear for one simple walk. That's mainly mom's fault. Oh my God, these shoes are so dirty from the mud since it's been raining on and off the last few weeks. Everywhere is muddy. And do you guys see that? It's just like anytime I step on not concrete, my shoes just get so gross. Okay, buddy, we are all set. Just got back from my walk with Leo and I'm getting ready to do a little relaxing bath time. Trevor's playing video games, so I'm like, that's perfect. He's distracted. I'm just gonna go ahead and oil my hair. I have the rosemary, God, this stuff goes so fast, but I've got the rosemary oil. I figured I might as well just go ahead and do this. I'm taking a Pilates class tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna do a full everything shower after that. I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight. I'm gonna do the rosemary oil overnight tonight so that when I wash my hair tomorrow. I can wash it all out. Just applying it throughout the scalp. And I have gotten like questions on if I've like noticed a difference with this. I'm having a hard time judging it because we know I only like wash my hair once a week because I've like trained my hair for that. And I only use this whenever I have a hair wash day coming up. So since it's only once a week, I feel like I'm not using this frequently enough to like really say whether or not it's made a difference. I've technically been using it for a month, but I've only used it like maybe four times. I think this is my fourth. Gonna do a quick scalp massage. But yeah, I feel bad saying yes or no. I will say I have noticed like baby hairs, but I like I can never tell if the baby hairs I see are actually new growth or just breakage. <laughs> so not entirely sure. I will say though my hair has felt pretty good. Just like the health of my hair. So I don't know if it's necessarily this or I'm gonna be honest if it's like a placebo effect, but either way, my hair has felt really good. I love this oil because it smells so minty and I was like, oh, that'd be perfect to like have this minty scent in my hair while I'm taking a relaxing bath. I just realized I need to take my makeup off. I forgot that I put on makeup today. I came home and Trevor's like, you look so pretty. And I was like, thanks. And now that I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, oh, because I actually did makeup. <laughs> I had a on-camera meeting this afternoon and then I went ahead and filmed a video but yeah I just totally forgot that I put stuff on. <laughs> I like to massage like around here the mouse because this is where I want to stimulate the most growth. I mean I want to get growth more throughout like my whole head but in particular these front areas I would really like a little bit thicker. And then taking the argan oil. It's weird because I feel like I use more of this oil than the rosemary oil but somehow i'm running out of the rosemary oil faster just like really saturating all of my hair but yeah i am definitely in my bath era right now i really love it i can't believe that like i haven't been doing baths more often they're just so relaxing i'm like you know life is so stressful so i'm like i really want to pay attention to things that like are relaxing kind of like put me at ease things outside of shopping because shopping is like <laughs> my ultimate relaxation but then it's a vicious cycle because then i get stressed out over how much i spent <laughs> i feel like a bath is much more constructive and then i totally forgot that i had this i think i unboxed it like a lot of vlogs ago but i have this pr kit for my do care and i just saw it when i was like gathering up some stuff in there and i was like i'm gonna use this today oh i need to wash my face but look at this little tiger headband <laughs> how freaking cute is this all right, I'm gonna take my makeup off and then we're gonna apply their peel off mask. This is the revitalizing golden mask. And then they also sent me this little two in one silicone brush. And this mask has 24 karat gold peptides and pumpkin extract. Face is clean. Am I supposed to use both sides? You can use this side to like exfoliate if it's that kind of mask, but since this is a peel off mask, that doesn't really apply. So you don't wanna disturb it too much after you apply it. It literally looks like liquid gold. Oh, she's thick. Oh, this mask smells really good. I feel like I look like a metallic tan version of myself right now. <laughs> I think that we're good. She is shiny, but it is now time to draw the bath. It says to pour a generous amount, so I will do just that. Then in she goes.
just jumped out of the bath. I seriously feel so relaxed and I feel like, I mean, my skin's still glowing from the facial that I did the other day, but still, I feel like my skin looks so good just, I guess, from being relaxed. But I'm gonna keep it going with the good vibes and I'm trying to debate if I wanna do butter noodles tonight, just like something, you know, like comfort food or like maybe the rosatella pasta sauce from Trader Joe's. Not sure. I'm gonna think on it for a second. Change of plans, we ordered Peruvian food. I got the Pescado Frito, which is my favorite thing again. Saturday and Trevor and I are gonna head out and go to the beach. I've been running around all day. I went to Pilates and then I took Leo on a hike. This has been like my first opportunity to like sit down and like wash up and stuff. But I know Trevor wanted to get out of the house so we figured we'd like go down to the beach area, watch the sunset because it's been really pretty the last couple days. I mean I think I took some clips yesterday when I was walking Leo, like gorgeous sunsets lately. But I'm getting ready and I actually have a little Levi's jeans haul. Levi's are just like such classic jeans and I didn't realize that they actually have short length and I don't know why it never occurred to me to like actually shop them directly but yeah I was very happy to find out that they have short but you guys know I think I mentioned it in my last video. I've just been like kind of on the hunt for jeans. I'm realizing I prefer a slimmer fit. I mean don't get me wrong I love my Abercrombie baggy jeans but like things like the dad style, the mom style, the kind of like slouchy style i'm not really feeling as much lately i want something a little bit more tailored so i've been really into straight jeans and then also boot cut levi's had some so i got a couple pairs both of them are like the same hue i've been on the hunt for like a darker color the only thing is that these say short and these feel like they're a little bit long which is okay i prefer a little bit on the longer side than being too short but anyways this is the mid-rise straight jean dark wash these have a nice stretch to them these feel like they're gonna be really really comfy also too i've decided i hate high rise i cannot stand high rise especially the ultra high rise like when it comes like right underneath my rib cage i just feel like it's really constricting and it cuts me in the wrong spot so i've been more into like mid-rise or like i call it the faux low rise like honestly i've noticed a lot of low rise jeans say low rise but they're actually more like mid-rise or like a lower mid-rise if you will they're not actually like low rise they're like more right here like right at the belly button or like right below it which i actually really like that height so yeah i've been looking for those but yeah this one is the mid-rise straight so let's try this one on okay actually the length on this I keep misjudging jeans. I always feel like they're gonna be too long, but lately they've actually been shorter once I actually put them on. But these are like a perfect fit. They're fitted enough that they give me that good shape that I'm looking for. But since the material is stretchy, it doesn't feel constricting or tight or anything. And then the waist and everything on this, it fits perfectly. For reference, I got an eight short. I love the length. My only concern with this though is since this is stretchy, it might stretch over time. So I feel like I might have been able to do a six, but just for comfort sake, and especially with this being like a slimmer cut as opposed to like a baggy cut, I think it was better that I went with eight, but yeah, I love these. These are really nice. It's like a good classic pair of straight jeans. Like if I have to go to the office or go to Texas to like work out of that office for a little bit or anything these would definitely be a good pair of office jeans and then also just like if i ever like wanted to wear jeans to like dress up for like a night out these would also work for that too and then in the same size and pretty much the exact same color actually technically the colors on these have two different names but they look exactly the same color wise like identical but anyways these ones are the boot cuts I've been loving boot cut lately. I got those gap ones. But I told you guys with those, I had originally wanted the darker wash in them. I do like the light wash. I think that they're really cute for like a casual day, but I wanted a darker wash and boot cut that I could like dress up a little bit. And Levi's had a good pair, so let's swap into these. Also too, these were an amazing deal. I got these at like the perfect time. It was like 30% off of Levi's.com. And then I got like a 20% off thing just for signing up for their newsletter. So I got both of these jeans for I think like $65 total. So yeah, really good deal, but oh, I love them. And then I don't have to hem. I'm so happy anytime I don't have to hem jeans. That's a huge win for me. But again, same thing. I feel like they're the same denim, like the same stretchy denim, super, super comfortable. I love the little baby flare with the boot cut. Fits the exact same, but like I said, just a slightly different cut at the bottom. Also too, I feel like when it comes to something with a little bit of flare, it gives me a little bit more height. Just something about that cut looks like it adds inches to me. Yeah, I love these. These are very cute, very comfortable. They fit 
perfectly right now so I like I said I am a little bit concerned that they might stretch a little over time but for right now they just they fit beautifully but I think today I'm gonna wear the straight cut I'm going to brunch with my girlfriend tomorrow so I'll probably do the boot cut for that because I feel like the boot cut is just like a little bit dressier so yeah I'm gonna switch back into the straight jean and finish up getting ready did just a little bit of makeup not really anything drastic but I did warn you guys I was gonna be living in this sweatshirt I'm committed to this sweatshirt in a way that is probably unhealthy <laughs> But I love this sweatshirt. Like when we were like, let's go to the beach and watch the sunset. I was like, I'm wearing my new sweatshirt. <laughs> everybody is getting proposed to out here today <laughs> wait what was that <laughs> what, no, what was that <laughs> Look, they put a blanket on this cow. <laughs> <laughs> Night continues on. Trevor surprised me with a little trip to Boomers. It's Walking not up right now. Boomers. It's Boomers. Nobody calls it that. Everyone calls it Boomers. What? Nobody calls it Boomers. <laughs> We're gonna go miniature golfing, which is so funny because I was telling him I like saw a show where someone like did that like a week ago. And I've been thinking, I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to go miniature golfing. So he kind of read my mind. Don't you ever leave me? It's much later at night and we got back from our date a few hours ago. I won at Miniature Golf. I got three holes in one, so I was very, very proud of myself. So because of that, Trevor owes me Del Taco. We didn't get it tonight, but he does owe me Del Taco. But before I go to bed, I thought we would do a little late night unboxing because I have a few packages right here. A lot of this is TikTok shop. I think all of it might be TikTok shop. Though there is one package that's like separate from these that doesn't look like it's TikTok shop, but it might be. Anyways, we'll find out. First order. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff in here. So I got these baggy pants. They're kind of like these sporty pants. They have cinch bottoms and black with this like white contrast design. But I got this because I might be taking dance classes again, like hip hop classes. So these are generally the type of bottoms I like to wear for something like that. So I got another one of them because I think a lot of mine I've either like given away or they're just like really old and then this next item oh see i was hoping that this would have come in before this morning but it's this viral like keyhole backless scrunch butt romper this and the jumpsuit version of it have been popping up on my for you page like crazy but this just kind of gives you like a nice little badonkadonk even though i'm definitely not flat anyways but it'll accentuate it and then we know i love backless stuff so the little keyhole back in here was something that i definitely loved but i got it in the navy color so i'll probably 
be wearing this shoe Pilates in a vlog coming soon. I also got another dad hat, baseball cap, whatever you want to call it. This one is a denim one and it says NYC. I could have sworn that I got gray. I guess I didn't. I guess I just got like the regular denim, but that's fine. You know, I don't have like a denim cap anyways, so I'm that mad about it. But with spring and summer coming up, I will probably be living in caps again for like whenever my hair's kind of dirty. Oh my god, this is so cute. The denim is adorable. Love this. I'll probably be rocking this at the beach this summer. Then up next, I got this little brown sling bag, fanny pack, bum bag, whatever you want to call it. But I thought that this might be great for a bag option in Europe. I was planning on bringing two purses, but I wanted to also bring like a sling bag. So I thought that this one was cute since it's like woven and I liked the brown a lot. So it has like this back pocket, which would be a great space to like keep like my passport or like my wallet my phone whatever I want to keep like really close to me because pickpockets are a bit rampant in some of the places that we're going to and then here is the main compartment nice and deep I can put the camera in there and stuff has a couple of pockets in here and then it has a little front compartment so lots of compartments in here which I really like and I think that this is just really cute while I'm like being a tourist and walking around and stuff and then lastly I actually want to go fill this up for tonight just so I have extra ice but I'm constantly running out of ice lately so I saw this little they call it an ice bucket but it's like this little silicone ice maker so my thought is like I have my regular ice maker that I have in there and then I'm gonna fill this up and it makes little nugget ice cubes but yeah you fill this up and then put this in and then just freeze it and then when it's all frozen you just kind of squeeze it and all the ice falls out but I figured that this would be a good backup ice because there's been quite a few times where I've gone to make the iced coffee and there isn't any in our main ice maker which is, obviously is my fault for not refilling the ice but it'll be nice to have a little backup in there that's like nice and compact and TikTok package number two this one has a ton of clothes in it dang okay it just keeps going all right i went a little crazy on tiktok shop as you guys can see this first item these are a pair of like square hoop gold earrings here's what they look like just a nice option to switch it up been getting really into earrings since you know I pierced my second hole here I still cannot switch out the earrings in the second hole but it's been fun to play around with like the front one and then I got this pack of claw clips just because I liked the shape of these is unusual they're like these little triangles and I like the material of these it's the like kind that's like a little rubbery so your hair won't slide out of it here I'll show you guys what it looks like on here's what it looks like and then from the side I just liked the shape of the triangle so it comes in that new color and then a black and a brown what's this guy Ooh, okay i've been seeing this go viral this is like a little sports sweater jacket thing but it kind of like cinches you in and shapes you i don't know if you guys can see like the seams on this but they kind of like come in and they'll just kind of like give you that good shape so i got the gray in it this material is really really nice my only thing is like it looks really small what size did i get i think i okay yeah i got a medium because i didn't want to go large i wanted to get true to size so it's like cinching but i figured this would be good to wear to pilates or like especially when i'm walking leo and stuff just like a very flattering sweater and then i got another backless sports bra i got a medium wow this is bigger than the ones that i normally get from amazon just like the bust area on this is bigger than the ones that i get from amazon which is kind of nice crisscrosses in the back completely open then would just look like that from the front. I love bras like that for Pilates. Basically, I'm usually either wearing my little workout rompers or workout jumpsuits for Pilates, or I'm in leggings and like specifically one of these backless sports bras. And then these I got just like for every day slash lounging around the house. These are like hybrid bra camis so they have that like really supportive material there are pads inside i'll probably take them out but then it has this little crisscross low back so i thought that these would be just like great to throw on for like when i'm just hanging around the house and i like that they're supportive so that like i can easily go and like walk leo and stuff like that because there's a lot of times like if i'm wearing just like an oversized t-shirt here at home and like i go to walk leo i need to go change into something a little bit more supportive because sometimes i like run with him or you know he gets excited for another dog and i'm trying to like handle him and i just i want a little bit more support than just like my girls being free in an oversized t-shirt so this would definitely be great so I got it in this beige color and then this like army green color and then this is just like a bunch of 
bras to wear underneath things like oversized t-shirts and stuff for when I'm just hanging around the house. Just like no padding, no wire, no clamp in the back. Just a regular very comfy bralette. So comes in a few colors but it's this like triangle bralette and then it like crisscrosses on your back. So I got it in the pink, the black, and this is all one set you guys. And then this is like a green, blue, gray, and then a white. Then finally, I got a little tote bag. I might use this for the bachelorette trip that I'm going on coming up this weekend. Kind of depends on how big this is. It's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Ah, well, no, actually it might work. No, it's definitely not going to work. I thought that this could like fit my laptop and stuff. I don't know. It might be able to, but anyways, I had just been seeing it a lot and I just thought it was kind of cute. Like I said, I did not realize how small it was, but this would honestly be like a great errands tote or like if I need to pack stuff for Leo and take him somewhere. This would be a good one. I love little totes like this for like activities like that. So yeah, it's like fairly roomy just with wise. I don't know if it would fit everything I need to for a trip. And then there is like a little pocket inside. Never hurts to have a little extra tote like this. And then this is also from TikTok shop, but this is a lip stain. And no, it's not another Sachu lip stain, but this one is a viral lip stain that has been going around. This is from the brand Wonder Skin, and it's their Wonder Blading Lip Stain Mask. I got mine in the color Whimsical, which I think is like a primrose color, but basically this goes on like metallic purple or something like that. And then you let it sit on your lips and then wipe it off and it reveals like a really pretty pink color or nude color, just depending on which one you get. I will use this tomorrow. I'm going to brunch with my friend so we'll try this out when we're getting ready for that but I just want to take a look at it really quick so yeah you guys can see it's like a metallic -y purple and then I guess I would let it sit on my lips for a little while then wipe it off and it would just be like a perfect pink also too this is supposed to last all day just like the Sachu lip stains it doesn't say how long you're supposed to leave it on though that's like so weird do I just put it on and wipe it off immediately yeah it doesn't necessarily say like leave on for 10 minutes or something it just says to swipe over lips then wipe away let me see here oh yeah and then yeah it only needed a couple minutes and then that's the color that I'm left with. So I'm excited to try that tomorrow. But let's find out what's in this little mystery box that I have no idea what it's from. It's, it says James and James brand evangelist for beauty. Oh my gosh, this is from the Inky List. Oh my God, I got PR from the Inky List. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this brand. So if you shop at Sephora, you already know about the Inky List. Let's see what they gave me. New Age in Skincare Technology. Oh, it's their Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. Love it. Oh my gosh. And there it is. So it says, Bioactive Ceramides deliver up to four times visible fine line and wrinkle reduction. So that's awesome. Ooh, I'm very, very excited for this. So I will probably be trying this out for a little while I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it but that was a very exciting surprise PR box very unexpected and I am definitely very grateful so thank you to the inky list for sending me this I need to go to bed because I have brunch in the morning and I need to get up a little bit early for that so I will see you guys when we're getting ready okay I've pretty much gotten ready everything except for my lips and like I said last night I'm gonna be trying out this wonder skin lip stain mask I think it's very interesting that's both a lip stain and a mask technically but Let's go ahead and apply it at this fun purpley color. I'm just gonna do it in my mirror over here. That looks crazy. This totally reminds me of like, what is that? Like the 2010s when we were wearing purple lipstick back in the day. Would have absolutely gone out like this. But anyways, I'm gonna leave mine on for like 30 seconds. I was reading on their website and they said that you can take it off as early as 10 seconds. But obviously if you wait like the full 30 seconds, you're gonna get a deeper color. And it's gonna be more long lasting. So we are gonna let it fully develop. But I just got ready for brunch at the brand. I have on my Amazon long sleeve top. I know you guys can barely see here. I'll put my TikTok right here of me getting dressed, but yeah, I have these Amazon long sleeve tops that I showed, I think it was my last video, my Amazon favorites video. I have the bootcut Levi's jeans, you guys, they make me look so tall and lean, I love them. And then I have my old shoe dazzle western boots, and then I'm just gonna throw on my trench coat and my coach bag, and that'll be the look. But anyways, yeah, that is the outfit, oh my gosh. This color is just so crazy. I think that we're pretty much good. That was 30 seconds, right, to describe my outfit? I feel like that probably took like 30 seconds. Take a damp washcloth. Oh wow, look at that color. That's really cool. It's cool that it like 
it looks so like crazy and metallic and it brushes away to this like beautiful pink color oh my god you guys that's so pretty and then i'm gonna top it off with this buxom full-on lip gloss and teddy so freaking pretty I love it, but okay, it's time for us to head out to brunch. We are on our way. I'm really excited to try this place out. It's right across from the beach in Huntington at Pacific City, and the inside of the restaurant just looks so pretty. And I don't know if I'm gonna get it because I am driving. It depends on if my friend wants to hang out for a little while, but they have $20 bottomless mimosas, so I don't know. I might be smashing some mimosas. Any brunch that has like bottomless mimosas is a win to me, but the food there just looks so good. They don't have like a huge brunch menu, but from what I've seen, like the brunch items that they do have look really, really amazing. And it's kind of like classic things just done really well like they have eggs benedict they have a chicken and waffles i think i'm leaning towards that but they also have like french toast waffles like an american breakfast a breakfast sandwich things like that so not anything like super groundbreaking but just like i said just done really well with a beautiful presentation so i'm really excited to try everything brunch at the brand it was really good the bottomless mimosas is definitely a good deal but we just kind of like hung out for a little while and then we got phil's i got my jacob's wonder bar because i haven't had it in so long tightest u-turn ever but my car has an amazing turning radius okay <laughs> but anyways back on track so the mimosas is a great deal 20 bucks unlimited we had like six glasses of champagne and then just hung out and like chatted for a little bit i planned another trip at brunch I think I mentioned in the last vlog, besides Europe, I spontaneously planned a trip and I've just planned another trip. But anyways, yeah, planned another trip at brunch. But now we're heading downtown. We're gonna park and meet up and we're just gonna like walk around. She said she actually knows of some good vintage shops here in downtown. I didn't even know that there were any in downtown Huntington. So I'm very, very intrigued, but yeah grab fills i finally got my jacob's wonder bar again i only get this hot so like during the summer i really get it and then also to like this past fall slash winter which has been unseasonably warm i've been wanting iced coffee so i've been getting their like seasonal coffee which is called much bliss but today it was actually pretty cold so i got my jacob's wonder bar for the first time in months so good oh my god that's so good i literally forgot how absolutely delicious this coffee is just because it became the seasonal one but amazing but yeah we're gonna do a little shopping over here and she's gonna show me the good spots because i lived here and i didn't even know that there was good vintage and thrift shopping over here i'm stunned 